So now you're going to do value and shade drawing on a simple object. And in this case, it's an egg. If you're at home, hopefully you have an egg. But you're going to get a simple object. You can also use something like a ping pong ball. You don't want to lot, have a lot of things get in the way because really, we're just looking at a few things. We're looking at this part, the shade. We're looking at the shade on top of the egg. And so I want you to look closely at it. Let me make sure it's sharp and focused. So a shade underneath is not all black. It's actually fuzzy on the edges. There's a little bit of reflected shade in the bottom. And then I want you to look at the shade in the egg. The shade in the egg has this reflected light part. So it doesn't go all the way down to black and then down to black shadow. It actually has nuance. It's subtle. You can see there's this line of shade in the middle that actually is darker than the line of shade at the bottom. Over here is a highlight from the window and over here is where I have a light shining brightly. Now I do have a, a, a bright light way up there shining down, so it's best to get a lamp and do this under a lamp. You want something called direct lighting. If I didn't have that on, and I will turn off the lamp for a second, you can see what I'm talking about. You can see it changes the shape. And it doesn't have such a direct and dramatic light source. They, they've got the window there, but when I turn back on, you can see you've got a better shade. So you, uh, you want to have a light that's kind of above and aiming down at what you're drawing. So you are going to draw what you see and you want to look particularly at the shade. Now, I'm drawing these lights so I can erase. So as I'm drawing the big shapes and if you didn't do the big shape drawing with the light colored marker this is where you need to go back and do that and so I've got my big shapes now I'm not just gonna fill that in black in fact I'm gonna smudge that outline because it's a little too dark for me right now but you can see I'm looking at the shapes of things and this is where you can use your cross hatching you can use your eraser which is not something we did last week you can use your smudging. So I went really, really light. And then some areas I'm going to erase even more because it's lighter up there. So I can erase some highlight areas and I can go darker with my shade. This is why you practice shade the other week. And it looks kind of like a fuzzy egg there, so that's why I'm smooshing that in with shade. This is where you're taking your time. You're doing shade on top of shade. Same thing with down here. And again, I could cross hatch if I wanted to. But I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling smushy today, so I want to smush. Now, the eraser is a really good thing to be using because you can get rid of stuff. If you went too dark, don't go too dark. But say if you went over a spot where you actually want it to be a little lighter, you use your eraser. Now, I'm not taking my time too much on this because I don't want my video to be that long, but I do want you to think about where is it dark? Where is it light? Where can you keep going and making it darker? You could work on pencil drawings over and over and over again. Now again, if you have some art pencils at home, that's awesome. Then I would use a darker pencil, which is the B pencils for the darker areas and lighter pencils, which are the H pencils for the lighter areas.
Now I could keep going on that. It's actually not as far as I'd want it to go, but you want to do the basic shapes and then put shade in there. Okay, friends, I'll talk to you later. Bye.